In today's video, we're going to be connecting the Xbox Series X to the Apple Vision Pro. So you're going to be seeing a huge screen. But let me remove all of that from the Apple Vision Pro right now and show you guys what I'm connected to. So this is the LG OLED TV 65 inch and connected to the Xbox Series X over there. And it's connected via the HDMI. So I want to walk you through what are the settings I'm using and how it is connected. So TV is definitely connected via the HDMI and you want to make sure that you are connected via wired connectivity. So you can see right here, I'm connected via the uh, LAN because you, you're going to be doing remote play. So you want to make sure that you get the least amount of lag possible. So we're going to go in these settings. And once you go in the settings, you want to make sure that you go to the remote settings, the remote play settings. So for that, you're going to come down to the device, devices and connections and go to the remote features because you want to enable the remote, uh, enable remote feature so you can play uh, remotely without being in front of the Xbox. And also you're going to be connecting to the Apple Vision Pro so you're going to have a huge screen. So right now it is testing all that. It is saying that the NAT type is moderate and that's the only warning I have. But it's going to be fine. And then also for the console setting, the power option, it says I'm on shutdown energy saving. It actually is going to be better for if it is in the sleep mode because you can access your place uh, Xbox uh, anytime. NAT type, you don't have to worry about if it is showing moderate. If it is showing restricted, then you'll have to open some ports. But most of the cases, you're going to have moderate connectivity. So moderate NAT type is good to go. And we're going to do next. And now we have the uh, remote play ready. We're going to close out of this and go to the power options in the same menu. And we're going to switch to sleep instead of using the shutdown mode for the remote play purpose. OK, we're going to go to the App Store. And you're not going to find the remote play application in the um, Apple Vision Pro app. So you actually have to go to the compatible apps section. And we're going to search for the XB Play. I have already downloaded. It is this one. It says SB xb play remote play so you want to open this application it opens like this i'm going to make the screen a little bigger and one thing that you will be doing is it is it has a trial mode but that is going to be for limited time use only so i paid 5.99 six dollars was well worth to pay for you know this application drag it to make a bigger size so now the next step is you have to log into your xbox account so you're going to go to the login and that's my email ID. You are going to put yours, of course, and the password. I'm going to put it right there so you guys can see the difference and also see when it is connected. Okay, so there's some tutorial that you can follow, but it's going to show you the connect. Uh, before you do that, I want to make sure that you guys are set up for the best resolution. So you're going to go here and in these settings, you have the quality setting. So I have it on desktop 1080p. That's the maximum you can get. But the good thing about the Apple Vision Pro is it's going to upscale it for you. So we're going to choose the 1080p, which is the highest. And video scale, I'm going to use contain. So I'm going to tap on connect. It's connecting. And both these systems on the same router. So it's going to be more speedy process for the connection. And once it is connected, it's going to ask you if you want to enable the audio or not, because you're going to be getting the audio from the TV, but you want to get the audio from your Apple Vision Pro. So just enable that. And then there's tutorial. You can read through that, but I'm actually talking about it, so I'm not going to do it. Now I have enabled the audio. There's also this virtual uh, controller that shows up. You don't have to use that because I'm going to be using this Xbox controller. I'm going to launch um, Forza Horizon. Okay, so one thing I want to show you guys how you can upscale your screen because you're going to be stretching it and it's going to be not good quality. So you're going to go to that menu right there, the nine dots, and you're going to tap on it. And you have the clarity boost there. So just go to the clarity boost and enable the FSR, Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Once you enable that, you're going to get the much better upscale image and it's barely like half a millisecond lag. So let me apply and close to that. And let's just go and see what it's saying. So FPS is we have 90 FPS, 1080p FSR because it's boosting the resolution for us. The codec information is there. The jitter is 0.2 and the lag is barely 0.36 or 38 millisecond. 
Um, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video and I'll see you in another one. Until then, peace out.